Welcome to episode number one of Gardening with Ryan, where this guy that knows nothing about gardening attempts to grow something beautiful. This area has been designated to me to take care of and kind of have fun with. So, when I inherited this, this plant was completely dead. And by watering it, I brought some green back into here. And here, I've, known, I've noticed this pop up, but also these. I'll show you some stuff I did. All this flowering is really new. A lot of this was really dry. But anyway, I will show you what I have done uniquely here that I that was not there before. First, in this pot, I planted these succulents with these flowers on them. I believe they're succulents. And over here, I planted this and this. Not this. Oh, I just noticed. Look at this. A little bit of green growth of this one coming back on this one. So I've been trying to water this one, and this one was totally dead. So, there's a pot over there of kind of nothing. There's just a piece of grass in it. I'm not sure what I want to do with that one yet. But, um, right now what I'm trying to debate is... See, this type of plant is generally considered a malicious weed. But... The succulent seems to be okay. Oh wow, look. It grew out of here all the way out to here. I'm just noticing this now. It, is all of this from my planting? What the heck? Look at that, guys. Okay, so it would seem that it would be best to preserve this plant right now. Or... See, this intrigues me, because this is a type of plant that people almost universally try to get rid of. I don't really know what it is. Um, these clover things, I'm not too worried about taking over yet, but we'll keep an eye on them. But... I'm kind of curious about having a pot of these. That would be kind of cool. I think that's what we'll do with that one over there, actually. So, first, I am actually going to remove these clovers because at the bottom they have like a base seed pod kind of thing. And I might not pull that out because I'm trying to be kind of gentle with them as to not damage the succulents I've planted. But I'm not too concerned about being thorough with removing all of these. I just don't want them to overtake the succulent system. See, this is kind of the seed pod network thing I was talking about. Are they perhaps part of the same plant? I don't know. I doubt it. No, they're not. Oh, thank you. Nope. see but oh i see it's almost latch these are almost latching on to the either either these are coming out of these roots or latching onto it part of me almost wants to just leave it this pot alone and see where it goes with the clovers and see we've got this sprout from here wait I'm so stupid. It's not connected. Look. See, so we've just got our succulents, our clover things. And let's see if they're actually truly attached to the root. Let's see where they... Are attached at... No, because... It seems like they're just growing extraordinarily close to my succulents, almost like they're being parasitic in a sense. Maybe that's why these plants are 
ones that people try to get rid of. So I'm just going to continue pulling out these clovers for now. Um, I think that's good enough, honestly. Like, I'm not too concerned about eliminating them because I'm not sure how feasible that even is. I just don't want their growth to overtake my succulents. And it looks like these succulents have planted in, they've rooted. This one's growing in nicely. Now, we'll return to this, but we're going to go over to the other one and check on it. See, I planted these here, and those are growing up nicely, and we've got some succulents, or not succulents, but some clover plant matter in here that I will just pull up. See, this comes out pretty easy. I think they're clovers. See, and we're just going to pull those out. I planted all of these that have flowers on the top now. I'm pretty happy with that. Because I planted these all from cuttings. So, I think that would technically make them clones. If my gardening is correct. See, this is a little bit dry. Um, That one's a little dry, I can tell by the yellowishness of the leaves, so that's going to need more water for sure. But, before we water things, and I see this growing out of the ground here, which... See, I'm okay with that, because there's a whole lot of just... Black here, wait... I totally have an idea. You see all this boring, just crap area? Just like those succulents, I could essentially fill this area right here with those. Let's do that, honestly. And in my experience, these are pretty forgiving with how you clone them. You can kind of just snap a piece off. And let's just... Hmm. Might need to dig some sort of hole. Hang on. All I'm really concerned about is it actually staying vertical, to be honest. Okay, this is kind of... Yep. We are using a stick to dig a hole because I don't have a shovel right now. But really I just want it to stay vertical because these seem to take root pretty easily. Let's plant that and get it just on there, honestly, like if it's, because even the ones that don't get put in the dirt very well, if they're on the dirt, they will usually grow. Now, I know cloning can be a bit more difficult in the flowering stage of plants, if I'm not mistaken, but I am hopeful. So let's just... Mix it up a little and get a cutting of this one. Um, honestly, we'll just take this piece and just... See, we have this and we're going to watch that and hope it's viable. And this stem seems a little sturdier, so I'm just going to try and... Really just dig it into here. And I know that doesn't look the prettiest, but I'm okay with that because I'm looking for this to kind of expand into a network. And look, these are pretty. I don't know about a cutting from these though, honestly. 
see, yeah, no, this is all from the same system, so I'm not going to risk that one. Um, so we've planted so far those and these. We're going to get some of this one. Let's get a real nice looking. See, I think right here would be really nice. See, look at that. How cool would that be if that grows out? This whole area will look less, I don't know, janky. If it's filled with succulents, see, I broke that one, but I'm not too concerned about it because what I'm gonna do, snap that into two, stick one right here. Ah, come on. See, I'm not going to be too concerned about it as long as it's in the dirt, because I'm really just trying to spread succulent life around this boring dirt area. So that... And these seem to really take easily, so we'll take uh, cutting from closer to the bottom, because... Oh, look. I can almost guarantee this one will live because it's right here and kind of new here at the bottom, it seems like, or right here would be even better. And let's see. I'm just gonna try and evenly disperse through the uh, boring areas back here because there's just a big patch of almost nothing and what could be cooler than taking a cutting off of my own oh look a couple little pistons and let's see if we can look we're gonna take a cutting from one of my own plants that I've planted if they've grown sufficiently for there to be a cutting. Mm. No, so we're gonna take one from over here again. Of that same sort of succulent right here. And honestly, we're just gonna take a few of these cuttings and just disperse them a bit because that's kind of been my main gripe with this gardening area lack of anything interesting um, this could use some excitement so I'll put Cutting here, um, like put one right here, I guess. And I really don't know if this is going to work, but I plan on making lots of future episodes. So we'll find out, and we'll water them as best as we can to get them to work. And. As far as boring areas are concerned, I think one more cutting right here. And then, see, I'm really only concerned about them just being on the dirt. You'll see why in later episodes. I think how deep you bury plants doesn't usually matter in my very limited experience. Um, Right there could use something interesting, I think. Eh. See, what I think I'll do is move this to here, and then there. We'll grow this. And I've already got something in my root network, which means there's good soil structure, and these roots aren't gonna well, there's just roots here from, like, 
like a tree or whatever. But let me try and clear out some of this rooting. Just move it a little bit because trees have plenty of rooting. So I'm just gonna clear a little space out. Yeah. Stick in here. Oh, sorry, you couldn't see very well. There we go. And next part is going to be a little interesting. We're going to take a pretty significant branch of one of these over here. We're going to take a few, actually. One. We're going to take branches that could be distributed. And we're just going to stick them wherever we want. I'm gonna throw them around honestly and see what happens. There's like a boring dirt patch. Um, here. We'll do that. And See, I'm just showing you that I'm being kind of loose with it, because I'm mainly interested in the results of different methods. See, I'm kind of concerned about these that I just threw, because the tap root here isn't even touching the soil. So I'm just going to adjust it just a little bit, but not very much. See? And from here, I feel like the populating of this whole area with like pretty flowers like we see here and such will kind of happen on its own if I keep it sufficiently watered. Now I'm going to throw these, um, yeah, they're dead. But next, what we're going to do is this pot over here, I've been watering it with nothing actually popping up out of it for quite some time now. So, oh, what do we have here? More of plant, what well, we have plenty of. So, what we're gonna do here is gonna be a little peculiar. And the soil's a little bit I don't know. You can see that it's a little unusual. So, it's more of a composty type substance. So, I'm just gonna maybe shake it a bit and then shake that top layer. See how that top layer just kind of separates? You don't need all of that. Now we get to the real plant. We've got a little bit of, like, grass in here or whatever. But here's what we're going to plant in here. And that's the exciting part. See, this was definitely once the home of some pretty cool plant. But we're about to do something that I have not seen done before. You see this big weed here that people consider a pest plant? We're gonna repot it. We're gonna grab it and try to take the roots. I know I don't need to be too gentle with these because when you pull them up, the roots just come out. Look at that big root network. See, 
that's pretty cool. And I'm curious, if I properly pot this thing, how will it reproduce and such? Especially isolated. Actually, we're going to give that one side because I just saw something else that's kind of neat. So, we're going to pot this and actually let it intentionally grow. And whatever this is, let's see if we can get that out without destroying the roots. I'm only going to attempt it if I think I can get the roots out. Yeah, I think I can. See? Mainly one big root, but this is also really cool. So we're going to kind of try to keep it vertical. Shovel out kind of a spot. Just stick that root in there. And kind of just do that. Maybe this will be our weeds... Is. I think it's attached to this one, actually. Yep. Oh, well. It is a weed, so it's meant to survive this kind of crap. And let's see if there's any other interesting... Because the clovers aren't very interesting enough to actually plant. But let's see if we can find any other type of interesting um, pest type of plant. Perhaps in the grass. Dandelion. That would be really interesting to intentionally grow. Oh, that came out easily without preserving any root. It would honestly be easiest to wait for a full one and just blow some seeds on there. And I already see some flowering. However, I see some empty ones. See, like that. So, let's see if we can find some dandelion seeds. And if not, let's try and dig up a plant. Because that would be a cool thing to grow. I feel like. Here we go. That's interesting. Look, this is attached to the dandelion. Is it the same type of plant, or? Let's find, let's put this one aside, because we might try and pop that. Oh, we got some seeds here. We're first gonna try with the seeds, actually, because we've never, I've never done that before. Let's see what happens. Yeah, little seeds. Let's just go for it. Ah, come on. I'll just throw the whole flower thing in there. Let's just find dandelions and throw them in there. Some of them will grow. I don't know where I put that cutting aside that I pulled out. Right here. No, but this will work too. Just... Two and pull. Mm. Nope. Not so successful on that one. We've got some more seeds on this one. Oh, those look like a lot of seeds. Actually, we're gonna try from just seeds, homies. Let's put seed pods right in there. And um, let's see if we can find any more seeds. Seeds here. Some seeds on this pod. That one's still 
flowering. I'm gonna leave the flowering ones alone, actually. Seeds here. Seeds here. Here. This might be overkill, to be honest. This one looks like it's just full of seeds about to burst. Nah, it only had like one left. Either way, these are... Oh, look at that. Look at all those seeds. That's still a very alive plant. So we're going to take the seed pile and put it over here and see if we can actually deroot this one. Success-ish, maybe? So what we're gonna do is take all these seed-containing pods and you know what? If these three take root and grow, cool. If not, that's fine. Because I'm mostly interested in this one and this one. And I actually think it would be neat to have a place where the clovers can just freely grow. So let's just have this be kind of a craziness pod. We'll take some very much alive clovers. We'll just honestly find a nice big bunch. Where can we find a nice big bunch of clovers right now? Yeah, probably in this one is our best bet. And we'll just take all of these and we'll pull them and just throw them into here. See, this will just be kind of a mystery bucket, I think. Where we just throw random plants and seeds and stuff into it and see what the hell happens. See what overtakes what. See. Battle of the plants. got sunflower seeds. Let's put a freaking cutting of this in there. And a freaking cutting this and this. And this and we'll do that and we'll just throw them in there and what else do we have back here that I can reproduce slash oh we got some grass sure whatever this thing is Grass? Sure. Um, these things? Let's just get some of these with some roots out. Why not? More dandelion seeds. I don't know if this one will even clone, but we're gonna try. We got this. Oh, it's this little plant right here. 
these little weed things. Ooh, that's a cool looking thing. This. Let's just get a bunch of these. Put it with that. And as to our clover question, now we've got this kind of weed with the dandelion here. We've got this dandelion seed pod. Let's just grab a freaking. Oh, I got a lot of roots there. Yes, this is absolute savagery. That's kind of the point. And we take all of this cool stuff. And pull that one out. Because th these look really cool to me. I'm excited to see what these grow to into. I'm actually going to plant one of these in its own spot. But. Into the mystery pot. Because why the hell not? Let's just see what happens with that thing. But as an experiment, this little thing I'm gonna try and dig you up healthily. Oh, breaking some roots, but in some good. Here, I'll get a few of these. I really like the way these look. Up, oh, ripe clover patch. Oh, with all the roots and stuff. Into the mystery jar. Ah, I missed. But these, I really like. Also, this is like the classic weed. Let's just get some of these in there too. Like whatever the hell this is. Yeah, I think Mystery Pot will grow itself at this point, to be honest. But, right now, what I'm interested in are these. I'm gonna make a little collection of them. We're gonna plant some in their own little area. It's a bigger, healthier one right here. This one has a better root system, so let's just grab the ones I pulled out, and then we're going to set up a spot right here. Over here. I don't want to be too aggressive with how I plant things because I think plants kind of know how to work themselves largely. Let's see, 
those are just super cool. So, I'm gonna just create a little patch here. See? And throw some dirt on it or whatever. This can go in there. Honestly, maybe everything we just pull goes into the mystery thing. Everything that we don't want. So let's do a little tidying. Just pull out some clovers and crap we don't want. Yeah. Yeah. This is our freaking disposal jar that we don't want to throw stuff on the ground in because it'll make it grow stuff. And that'll be interesting. Any of you with gardening tips are welcome to leave them. And, um... See... What I don't... know how I feel about is this growing in here. I'm not... I'm trying to really revive this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull... the clovers. Because I brought this one back from like nothing, so I'm gonna try I'm trying to do the same thing again. Pull that out. Look at that. That looks like something for the mystery pot. Oh, I pulled out a good leaf. Oh well. Now, I think that's enough maintenance for today. What's even growing in here? Nothing? Ah, next episode. We'll plant something neat. But that's our mystery jar. That's our succulents. And gonna try and make this area a little more pretty and now there's a whole lot of plants that I just planted that are going to be thirsty and you're about to see why I wasn't too concerned about placement of my plants and the hose making it stop and build up water pressure. I hate when that happens. It's annoying. I want to water my plants. Alright, so we're going to hit these because these are the most severely dehydrated. See how much water is just soaking up without even leaking through to the bottom. See, the whole watering process is going to take a while, so I'll just do the initial water for you guys. So we're going to water this one. We're going to water the mystery. Get everything kind of wet. Yeah, I'll take you guys for the full water. See, there's not really an exact science to it, just kind of get everything wet. Because I'm going to start watering more often, so I don't need to water as heavily. Just kinda... See, that's kind of... Let's just hit the stuff that doesn't need water as much first, actually.
And then we're gonna hit, see how that's turning all yellow? It's because it's not getting enough water. There's a kink in the hose way back there. Are you freaking kidding me? Watering the area. And so this thing's thirsty. You can tell that that one's thirsty too. Let's just try to go through this systematically. Just thing by thing. From left to right. And first we'll get all this stuff right here. Doing pretty well, looking pretty green. Let's get some more water right here. Definitely that. Get that some more. Put that green in there. I'm really happy to see that. And let's get this one extra watered because I really would love to bring this one back. There we go. And let's get those succulents plenty of water to keep going. Get this mystery jar plenty of water to well grow the mystery. Water these things. This needs water. That needs water. That needs water. Tree needs water. You can really hit like any root on the tree, it just needs to absorb it. And the tree is absorbing from this whole area. Those plants up there need some water. That needs water. Hit everything because we do it often enough, it really won't matter. We're gonna hit that cutting area over there. Let me put one in, just kind of get the whole ground wet over here. But most of all, I really want to promote plant growth in this really barren area, so we are going to water the hell out of right here. See, I think if this soil was more wet, it would, it would just be less boring and dry. And nothing there. So I'm trying to introduce some pretty plant life there. Yep, I know I've been recording this for 40 minutes, but like, someone might want to watch this. And it's a little bit more fun to do if I'm narrating. I know someone will watch it. And I hope you're enjoying. Because I am. Oh, look at that, that's like tree bark right there. Yeah, these trees have roots all over the place. Um, see this whole area seems pretty good to me now. The only other area that I... Did I hit that plant? Probably did. This was dry before, and it looks like it's making a really good comeback. So, we're gonna keep this 
area wet because we're seeing some nice blue flowers on there. And so there's just no grass there, it just stops. I wonder if it's because it's just dry or the sun. This grass is on a timer, but man. It just, oh look at all these succulents back here. That's cool. Nah, th th those get watered. See, the grass gets watered on its own, but that's just too dry, man. Look at all this brown patch crap. I don't, I, I'm not a fan. See, because I'm gardening out here, I want the lawn to look nice. I want the lawn to look nice at least. So, I'm not going to go too heavy on the lawn. Just going to give it a little more water than it's getting. And these barren lands. See, look at that new grass growth that needs to be promoted with more water. So, we're just going to hit the driest spots on the lawn for a bit. I mean, I guess that's kind of the whole thing. So really, if I just let the water hit the lawn, it'll help it. But the lawn's not really my priority. All right, it's not my priority. I'm, that's my area, but... I don't know. A little too yellow for my taste. A little too dead. Doesn't look like too much of a lawn. And I see new grass growth. And look at all this new grass growth right here. See, that's not. I, is that all moss? Okay, well, that's moss. But that's not what I'm talking about. You see all this, like, dead grass? Look how different it is in contrast to that alive grass. And I really don't know if lawns are eco-friendly. I mean, I know it's a plant, but maybe a less discriminant lawn would be eco-friendly, just like letting stuff grow as it does instead of worrying about just clean grass. Either way, I'm going to go hit my area one more time and then we're going to wrap this up because we've gone on for almost an hour now, but I had fun. I don't regret making this. I'm just going to go water rocket mode and just kind of yeehaw it up. Honestly, it might be the easiest way of watering this whole thing. Probably is. I'm going to put more on those new cutting areas. You'd be amazed how much water plants suck up when they're trying to grow. It looks like I'm really soaking this soil, but I think it's all going to get used up by these plants pretty fast. And I would love to see some more green back here. See, look, like this kind of growth, that could spread. So I'm going to just really try and promote all the plant growth back here that I can. See, look, there's plant life popping up here. Let's give that plenty of water, you know? Try and get the backyard a little more green. Let's just feed this because more water means bigger plants, generally speaking. And 
And let's just make sure the mystery jar is. Okay. I want to make sure these are very, very, very well watered because you can see how dead those are. And honestly, I think I'm going to stop pulling things out of it because I kind of just want to see if I can make it look like healthy plant life in there again, you know? There's that one. There was an ant colony living in this one, and I kind of drowned them out, but it's honestly for their own good. Because I wouldn't want to be an ant colony in a plant that gets watered. It just didn't get watered for a while. Oh. We don't gotta wait for next episode for the mystery pot. You know what we're gonna do with the mystery pot? Check it out. Let me just make sure there's not actually anything like critical growing out of there. Oh, this pole goes all the way to the ground and has the pot. The pot's not even connected to it, I don't think. Yep. Mystery pot. And there's a couple of roots coming from here, but. We're gonna do something a little different with the mystery pot. Oh, sorry, not the best at vegetative cinematography yet. See, we're gonna mix this up and try to remove any plant life that pre exists in here, which I know is pretty much impossible. And then, we're going to do something that I've wanted to do for a while, which might be beneficial to this whole project. We're going to get it nice and soaked with dirt. Now we're going to kill and rot some wet plant matter. That's a big one that I can... And honestly, I'm just going to throw the hose into the lawn. So it dries out a bit less. But, you know what? We're gonna do a, a different kind of mystery jar here, but with exclusively dead plant material. Or, my attempt to kill it. All right. Now, uh, I, I don't want this to accidentally like grow into succulent cuttings, so we're really gonna screw this stuff up. We're trying to create some kind of compost bin because we are trying to get this to decompose and for animals whenever to go for it and just watch from there. Kind of have a starter point and just let it do its own thing. So I need some effed up decomposed plant matter. Just give me a second to sufficiently annihilate this thing and remove like high chance of viability. Yep, you're just listening to crunching noises. Hang on, all right. Do it one-handed. I've had some kind of crushing tool. You know what? Freaking ghetto, but it'll work. It's, it's, it's not 
really the point of how it looks. I mean, I guess the more ghetto it is, the better in the situation. We're trying to create a compost type bin without the need for rotting food. Because why go for rotting food when you can have rotting plants? I'm going to turn the hose off now. That's enough water. I hear the dryer going with my clothes from inside. Those of you here from the news show will get will know that I was doing laundry. But those of you that weren't now know that. See, I, I, I don't think this is going to turn into a succulent now. And if it does, then that's like almost kind of more impressive than the compost bit. It's a succulent. It's totally gonna mother. Yeah, that's not gonna work. You know what? It's, you know what? That's probably gonna turn into succulent crap now. I made a bad choice. Um. You know what would honestly be best for this mission? Due to anonymity, your favorite San Diego news source is currently covering the camera due to not being aware of who else is currently home. So, I don't want to smack mud in the house to take those shoes off for right now. This might cut me off soon because I've been recording for 57 minutes and there might be a cap on YouTube. If there is, that sucks, but I'll just start recording again. So, we're back outside. Um, I think I know the most sensible way of going about doing this. your hands. It's just dirt, people. Get over it. This is a seed type thing at the bottom of this. I still think that's a seed. But only because I've heard that we're gonna throw it out. And now, banana peel. Out in the open for whatever desires to do whatever it wants with it. In the next episode, We will have an update on everything, and I will post another one when things have grown. This is going to be the longest episode, probably, because I gave you a full introduction to everything, but who knows? Maybe other ones will go longer. Oh, look. More for the mystery jar. And 
that closes episode number one of Guard Ryan. Drop a like, drop a subscribe, and if you made it this far, you are a freaking champ. Have a great day. This is actually pretty therapeutic. I like it. And... I hope every single one of you has a fantastic day. Go outside, eat a banana or some healthy food. Drop a comment if you want. If you have some critiques of my gardening skills or whatever. I'm just messing around, but I'm having fun. I'm making video for YouTube. I may have a small audience on YouTube, a much larger one on Snapchat, but you know what? I don't care. I did not expect to get an audience on Snapchat. But I enjoy having one, and I appreciate everyone's watches. I'm just saying I'm content I'm doing this content because I enjoy making it. So, but likes and subscribes definitely help keep me motivated that people are doing this and subscribes also help the channel grow and stuff and maybe I can monetize the channel someday no that doesn't mean you have to buy anything that just means YouTube pays me money for doing my thing and eh. Papa John's ain't bad you know Yeah, tech tutorials and more exciting stuff of that nature coming soon. Gonna close this out. Thanks for watching. Hope you had as much fun watching as I did gardening. <laughs>